You know, I keep saying that parents who have to raise teenagers in today's day and age, good luck. Well, the bar keeps getting higher and higher. Get this story coming out from the New York Times, actually. 15-year-old girl, Tess Chapin, in living in Manhattan, gets drunk at a party, and she comes home and violates her curfew. She's an hour late. What do the parents do? They ground her for five weeks. That means no parties, no friends. She goes to school, she comes home, etc. What does Tess do, a 15-year-old in 2010? She protests. How does she do it? She goes on to Facebook and starts a group called 1,000 to get Tess ungrounded. You heard me right. A thousand signatures, starting a petition, maybe people will agree with her, get her ungrounded. She says, I've got a lot to do, I can't just sit home. Maybe if I get a thousand signatures together, that can convince my parents, and who knows, maybe I can be set free. Whoa, what is really going on in this world? So what do you think? She gets like 800 and something signatures, New York Times picks up the, the whole story, that, of course, sends it through the roof, and she gets her 1,000-plus signatures. What do the parents do? Nothing. Parents are not impressed. It doesn't matter what a 1,000 people say. They're sticking to their guns. You'd have to come up with a lot more to do than come up with a 1,000 signatures to change our minds, they say. They stuck to their guns. Something you don't see very much today. People having conviction. They know their child better than anybody. It doesn't matter what a thousand people say. I would say, even if you got a million signatures, would it make a difference? I don't think so. You're a parent, you know your child, you stick to your guns. As a matter of fact, five weeks grounded? How about taking away her laptop and getting off, go off her Facebook account? Maybe that would have been even more appropriate. She still has her, her computer, she's still out into the world, even though she's not seeing friends so much. So I think that was comparatively mild. What do you think? Join the discussion. Do you think it was an appropriate punishment? She drank too much. She says, I made a mistake. Does that mean five weeks of being grounded? Is that excessive? Tell us what you think. And also, what about this whole idea of getting a thousand people to try to convince her parents and her parents sticking to her guns? Should they be impressed by a thousand people agreeing with tests or not? Do you think that they have a right to just say, I don't care what it means? What about if she would have gotten a thousand child psychologists to agree with her. They would have signed the petition. Would that have made a difference? Really fascinating. This is today's day and age. This is how we raise teenagers today. This is the kind of revolutions that we can expect going on when we're raising teenagers. Who knows what's going on? Tell us what you think. This is something to think about.